Yes, I have several contagious diseases. How do you, Mr. Whiteside? I hope you're better. Thank you. I am suing you for $150,000. So now, Mrs. Stanley, there are a few small matters to take up with you. Since this corner druggist at my elbow tells me that I shall be confined to this mouldy mortuary for at least another ten days, due entirely to your stupidity and negligence, I shall have to carry on my activities as best I can. I shall require the exclusive use of this room, as well as that drafty sewer which you call the library. Mr. Whiteside, if I may interrupt... You may not, sir. Will you take your clammy hand off my chair? You have the touch of a love-starved cobra. Now, look here, Mr. Whiteside. There I... is nothing to discuss, sir. Considering the damage that I've suffered at your hands, I'm asking very little. Good day. Where are those cigarettes? Young lady, I cannot stand indecision. Will you either go up those stairs or come down them? I'm sorry, I'm so late. I had to go to three different stores. How did you travel? By ox cart? Where are you going? Keep those canal boats away from me. Go in and read the life of Florence Nightingale and learn how unfitted you are for your chosen profession. I suppose you have written that great American novel. No, I've written that great American play. Well, I don't want to read it. Ah, pecan butternut fudge. Oh, my, you mustn't eat candy, Mr. Whiteside. It's very bad for you. My great aunt Jennifer ate a whole box of candy every day of her life. She lived to be 102, and when she'd been dead three days, she looked better than you do now. How about staying for lunch? Oh, glad to. That'll cost you a dollar. These lads have formed a Sheraton Whiteside Club at the State Penitentiary. They listen to every one of my broadcasts. I arranged with the warden to have them come here today for luncheon. I hope every little tummy is a flutter with gastric juices. Close the doors, John. We don't want a lot of people crying on their betters. Yes, sir. Mr. Whiteside! Sit down, gentlemen. This isn't anybody. Here's your medicine. All right, all right. Go back to the Navy. Operator, give me the mansion house. No, I don't know the number. Christmas tree in the bedroom just fell on Mr. Stanley. He got a big bump on his forehead. <laughs> Why, isn't that too bad? Mr. Whiteside, he's a very sensitive boy. You, you'll be kind to him, won't you? Confounded June, when did you learn that I'm always kind and courteous? Bring this idiot in. Your advice is to go ahead, sir? It is. Marry him tonight, June. You mean that, Mr. Whiteside? No. No, I mean that you should marry Walter Winchell. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. What do you want me to do, say it all over again? I will not be rushed out of this room like a baby that has to have its thingamabobs changed. Well. Oh, it's snowing. Isn't that wonderful? I never felt so much like Christmas in all my life. Don't you, Sherry, dear? Shut your nasty little face. Operator. All that I want, Lorraine, is the memory of you in that mummy case. Well, Sherry, I'm, I'm all choked up. Dust to dust. Here we go! Merry Christmas, everybody.